Hidden History is brought to you by G2A.com and our supporters at Patreon. A couple of weeks ago, we released an episode covering a few of the Fallout games that were cancelled during their development. Games like Fallout Van Buren, Extreme and Brotherhood of Steel 2. But those aren't the only Fallout titles to get canned before release. So it only feels right that we dive right back in and check out a few more games that never saw the light of day. First up we have a game that very few people even knew existed, and one that wasn't actually a video game at all. Fallout Pen and Paper Created by Interplay and Glutton Creeper Games in 2006, Fallout Pen and Paper was planned to be a Dungeons and Dragons style role playing game which utilised the modern D20 dice system. The game was set in the American Southwest and would have included New Mexico, Arizona and Utah as playable states. Much like the other Fallout games, players would be able to create their own characters from scratch and pick what type of combat they would like to place emphasis on. In the end though, Fallout Pen and Paper was just not to be. That is because in May of 2007, Zenimax Media and Bethesda Studios threatened to file an injection against the pen and paper team, if they didn't seize production. According to Zenimax, Interplay no longer had the right to license out the Fallout name, since they had already sold it to them. And Bethesda was worried that marketing the pen and paper game so closely to the release of Fallout 3 could confuse the game's marketing efforts and hurt sales. As a result, Fallout Pen and Paper never made it out of the door. But if you're a fan of the old school role playing games and wish that you could have gotten a chance to play it, you're in luck, because Glutton Creeper Games didn't give up there. After rewriting the game to get rid of any association with the Fallout franchise, they still released it under the name Exodus Post Apocalyptic Roleplaying. And even though they ditched the Fallout 50s aesthetic for a more 70s B-movie approach, for the most part the setting remains unchanged. So if you're finally getting tired of Fallout 4, you might want to check it out. Next up is a game whose cancellation upsets some Fallout fans to this day, Fallout Tactics 2. Not much is actually known about this game, outside some leaked concept art from 2002, but apparently most of it would have taken place in Florida, a first for the series. The game's story also would have been even darker than usual, with the Brotherhood of Steel being portrayed as more militaristic and oppressive than in any of the other Fallout games. The plot sounds pretty interesting too. Apparently, it would have seen the Gek being irradiated, causing a mutant garden to grow, which would then begin to spread and prey upon animal life, using them as carriers to spread even more. The player's goals was to discover the source and find a way to put an end to it. The writers have said that the plot would have involved quite a bit of moral ambiguity too. Also, according to designer Gareth Davies, the story was mostly based off his favourite episode of Doctor Who, the 1976 season finale, Seeds of Doom, which followed Tom Baker's fourth Doctor as he battled a very similar plant-based villain. As we all know, Tactics 2 never ended up being made, mostly due to the poor sales of the first game. This was really disappointing to Gareth Davies who said, It's a title that would have benefited from the experience and criticisms of the first game. Plus we were very conscious of heeding Fallout canon as best we could, and providing more interesting tactical missions rather than the run and gun focus of the first game. That wasn't the only attempt to revive the tactics franchise though. Rumour has it that Bethesda was trying to do something very similar in the mobile market. They even hired John Carmack, the creator of the original Doom's engine, to make them a Fallout iPhone game in 2009. But eventually Carmack abandoned the project saying he had too many other games to work on. Eventually Tactics 2 for iPhone was dropped, morphing into the Fallout Shelter game that we all know and love today. Well, when it actually runs and doesn't crash every 10 seconds that is. Lastly, there was a planned PlayStation 1 port of the original Fallout which Interplay tried desperately to make work back in the late 90s. The console apparently couldn't handle the PC game very well though, so Interplay cancelled the port about halfway through its development, leaving console gamers without a Fallout game for a very long time. Alright, now it's time to check some of your comments. First up is Jeffrey Falesco, who says, Is it just me, or is no one talking about the killer gnomes around Far Harbour? I have found them everywhere. 
Well, we've actually heard a few things about this. Really creepy stuff. They're hard to spot, but if you've had a terrifying killer gnome experience, you should let us know. The commenter who has the creepiest gnome story will get a spotlight on our next Fallout Hidden History. Thanks for the comment, Jeff. Next up is our shoddy comment, which comes to us from Yazakak, who says, The state of Maine is actually a myth cleverly conceived by the native Algonquin Indians to frighten English settlers away. The myth was popularised in Stephen King's best-selling novel, Practically Everything I Wrote Except for the Dark Tower series. The stretch of land that conspiracy theorists claim to be the state of Maine is actually the world's largest Christmas tree farm, covering over 10 square miles of barren waste that nobody wants. Wow, you, you guys really hate Maine. Now for our trivia. Last week we asked you what the name of the man who killed Nick Valentine's fiance was, and most of you got it right. It was D. Edward Winters. This week we have a much more old school Fallout question for you. Who composed the soundtrack of Fallout Tactics? A. Michael Bluth B. Einan Zur C. Christoph Beck Or D. Ebisner Tell me your answer in the comments section below and while you're down there, why don't you tell me if there was any of these games that I previously mentioned either in this episode or the previous episode of In History Cancelled Fallout Games. If there's any cancelled full of games that you would actually think about buying. I mean, Tactics 2 kind of tempts me, but that's just me. Anyway, I'll see you guys on next week's episode of Hidden History.